you guys heard the stories about the the parties that Fred Freddie Mercury used to throw, like with midgets midgets walking no. around midgets walking around naked with cocaine on their heads, like they What? had plates filled with cocaine <laughs> in their heads, and then the naked midget would go by you, you go like <laughs> do this. Oh this might be the best idea I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a Bond movie in itself, that does, actually. You Crazy, right? That. Yeah, it sounds like movie stuff. Mm -hmm. There's this very funny story about a, an attempted collaboration between Freddie Mercury and Michael Jackson, but they couldn't, they, they couldn't do There it. There wasn't because, enough midgets. No, they couldn't stand each other in studio, and, it, and when you would see the, the, the different statements for, for, from each of them... Uh, Michael Jackson would say, "Oh, I could just couldn't stand all the drugs. He would be, he would bring a lot of drugs to the studio and stuff. And when you ask F Freddie Mercury what was the problem, it's like, oh, I couldn't stand Michael Jackson because he would bring all those weird animals inside the studio, like <laughs> chimpanzees and llamas and stuff. I couldn't stand it. <laughs> to be fair, that sounds awesome. It's like you just turn up a meeting and someone brings in a llama. I'm like, okay, yeah." <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Uh, that would have been a nice collab to get, though. Yeah. Two very unique voices. But, I've always said that out of, like, you know, some stars that we've lost, Freddie Mercury and Chester Bennington are two people that, like, you can't replicate those voices. They are very unique. When, yeah. when you were on about earlier about uh, Hollywood might be redistributed to more independent people, that's one of the benefits. Because I think if you just have that much money sloshing around among that fewer people... What it seems to be, once you've achieved like a certain level of success and you no longer need to try, you just go down this really weird, bizarre road of trying more and more extreme things. Yeah. Because you've already basically won at life. And so all your drives to try and survive turn off. And you're just like, well, how can I get that same kick? And you just end up doing creepy stuff like snorting <laughs> midgets' heads. <laughs> yeah, Super out of ideas. Get the midgets. <laughs> uh, I want to. I want to. I want. I wish it was recorded. Whoever came up with that idea, like, well, how can we have like it just floating around the park? Well, we could just have people. No, no, they're too tall. You know, they can hold it, but your know, midget heads are just the perfect height, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> and they're naked. That 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 was probably what happened before audio books. They'd just have a midget, and you'd just open the book on his head, and he'd like walk in front of you. Before audio books. Yeah, so you could still work and stuff, but you'd, you'd always need a midget with you. They you did, they, they, with but you. they didn't need yeah, to be naked. How else are you? How else you know, did they have need a book follow you though? around? They didn't need to be naked. Maybe they did it because they uh, didn't want That's them to, to to steal their uh, drugs. I don't know. It's for them to not <laughs> run away. Uh, yeah. They won't run away naked. I like the idea that it might have been <laughs> their idea. They're like, I will do it. Only but... if I've got no clothes on there. <laughs> that, 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 that's a deal breaker. Is that okay? like a, a nudist midget com community. Yeah. <laughs> no, because I remember wow. in like, uh, you know, when you watch the old movies, like, uh, like Blow and stuff. I don't know if, I don't think this was actually in the movie Blow, but like where they're like, They have women like handling drugs that they're selling, like the big kingpins and stuff, and they don't have like clothes on or they're like in their underwear because they did it so oh, they don't like steal stuff. Yeah. That's why I got that from mm. like maybe, but you're right, maybe yeah. they don't run away either. <laughs> Could you imagine What would you that? rather like... be? Would you rather be would you rather be a midget or I am kind of. I don't know. Blind. There's a difference one, between so being I'm short pretty, and a midget. Listen, I'm 5'1", so I'm pretty close. Like, what is the actual height for a midget? I'm like a few inches away no, I don't, from... No, I don't think it's a height no, thing. No, but midgets like, are um... not just small. They have their yeah. proportions wrong. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, that, yeah. So would you rather be a midget or blind? A midget. Any day. Any day. I think being blind sure, is one yeah. of the worst ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, like, I, I, if you'd been, like, deaf, I'd be like, okay, deaf. Um... I think deaf oh, between is midget and deaf, would you Ooh. rather be deaf? Mm -hmm. I would do midget. I like music I, I, too much. I, I don't want to be being deaf. deaf. I could still do most things. Except listen of to what music. you do today, yeah. Most things because yeah, you what can like you, read subtitles and stuff, so you're not gonna yeah. miss out on all that kind of thing. You can still play video games if you're deaf. Yeah, but you, you, you cannot yeah, play video games if you're blind, though. Um. Yeah, I mean, like Fortnite literally puts. I would stuff still on the prefer to be a midget. Between midget and deaf, I would still be a midget. Yeah, same. I want to be able to see and hear. Well, 
the reason important. why I didn't say midget is because, as you said, it generally comes with like medical complications. Yeah, that's true. That you don't true. you don't see like a, a an eighty year old mid midget. Well, yeah, because I, I think they have like heart problems and all that kind of yeah, stuff, and, like yeah. spinal issues, and so I think that's why I would prefer deaf. That's true. Darn. Have well, you ever watched yeah. midget wrestling? No, but I know you have. Didn't Lethal midget show it to you? I, I told I told Lethal about midget wrestling and he put it oh, on the okay. stream, and it's some of the most funny things I've ever seen. I I found like their TikTok and stuff. And it turns out it's like a married couple who'd go and wrestle and things. And it, it's kind of a mix between kind of a circus and wrestling. Cause, <laughs> but it's really funny. Wow. If you're Ryan, ever bored, you... Google, like, look up on YouTube. I'll, I'll look it up right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's Australia amazing. Oh. So basically, Freddy was sitting in the studio tripping out on drugs and Michael walks in with a chimpanzee best album ever. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really, Maybe though. that was the thing. He'd just been sniffing too many midgets. There were actually no animals there. <laughs> sniffing? We'll never, we'll never <laughs> know. Yeah, you know he's just, he ran he's out of cocaine and started sniffing <laughs> the actual he's, midgets. He's, <laughs> sniffing a midget is big in Hollywood. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. Why do you think one was in Game of Thrones? He was always on step. He was always there for him whenever they needed to. Like, this is a really hard day. I right, come out. I need to sniff your face. I need to sniff your face. No. This is why he was so angry about the Seven Dwarfs. He didn't want to lose his pride, pride of place. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. He was pulling the ladder up with him. Or mm. behind him. Whatever. Crazy that seven midgets lost their jobs because of that movie. Mm-hmm. Lots of sniffing was missed out on. 